Hey you guys, it's Britta Alton. I'm the Director of Children's Ministries here at Ringgold United Methodist Church. I am coming to you from our Advent wreath. This Sunday is the first Sunday of the season of Advent. And Advent are the Sundays that lead us up to when we celebrate Christmas and the birth of Jesus. I'm so excited that Gracie and her family are going to be our scripture readers this week, not just for our kids' moment, but also during the service as well. They have recorded themselves reading the scripture and lighting a candle so that we can all join together in lighting candles throughout Advent as ways to remember those steps along the way of celebration. I'm going to go ahead and invite Gracie and her family to read the verses for us. This is from Luke, and this is the beginning of the Christmas story. Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God will give the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also, that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren, for with God nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold the maidservant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. During this first Sunday of Advent, we light this candle as a symbol of Christ's hope. May love, the true love of God, be born with, within us this Christmas. O come, O come, Emmanuel. Thank you so much, you guys. Listening to Mary, getting to ask an angel questions is a little bit different than what you and I experience as we grow in our faith, but it's really neat to think about what that angel told her. Did you catch where the angel told her, the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God? That's pretty big news about a baby that's not yet born, but the birth of that Holy One is the thing that gives us hope, which this week, as the first Sunday of Advent, hope is our theme of the day. But I wanna challenge you to think of hope differently. The Advent candles and the wreath and the things that we do throughout Advent to look forward to Christmas, it's not the countdown to present day or um, any other number of things. It's really um, remembering of promises and a realization that each week and each day we get to be in partnership with God. So not only are we going to be lighting a candle that symbolizes hope, but we get to be that candle throughout this week. 
I'm excited to hear how you guys get to be hope to others. I'm looking forward to hearing what Pastor Chris has to say as we begin this Advent season. And I'm thankful for each of you. I hope that each of you will be getting one of our Advent bags. The Advent kits have something for each week of Advent that will help you think of what these symbols are each week, how we get to take part in being part of that symbol. I can't wait to worship with you this weekend, whether it's online or in person. I'm thankful to go through this season of Advent as we are hopeful and give thanks for the gift of Jesus in this season. I have a few finishing touches that I want to put on this wreath. As I get started doing that, I wanted to wish you a happy Advent season, and I look forward to walking through it with you. Bye-bye.